let's start kind of uh, finishing off the model. So first thing I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is create some like a rivet object and then apply it to a whole bunch of key spots. So shift S cursor to center, shift A and let's put in a circle. And so we've got this wonderful little circle. Now I'm not going to have it at 32 points. I'm just going to go 16. So I'm just going to halve how many vertices it has. Let's go tab into edit mode. I'm just going to go into vertice mode. I'm going to press E, nope, control Z. I'm going to press F to create a face. I'm going to press I and just scale it in. I'm going to raise it up a bit. Yeah, raise a bit more. I again to flatten it out and E just to put it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the outside and just go E, Z. The other thing I'm going to do is because we're going to be using the snapping tool, I'm going to raise this whole object to be about here um, because this is the point here that's going to snap to all the surfaces. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. Oops, a little bit smaller. And I mean, it's only going to be a minor detail, but I reckon it's going to add quite a bit to it, maybe a little bit smaller. All right. How's that looking? Mm, about that's nice. Okay. So now let's turn on the snapping tool again. And you have to remember we've got the face selected. So we're snapping to the face and the active element. So I'm going to go G and I'm not going to put one there. I'm going to start off by putting one here. G. Shift. First, let's rename this. So we're going to call this rivet. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to duplicate. So shift D. Does that look good? Yep. And let's grab both of these. Shift D Y. Um, and just going to re-snap that. So it's sitting correctly. Beautiful. So I'm only going to do one half of the ship. Ship. G. That's looking nice. Shift D Y. And we'll do that again. Shift D Y. Is that sitting correctly as my... Yes, it is. Oh, beautiful. G, Y. And so we're just going to be plopping it around in key places. Yep, 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 yep. Um, let's put some here. G. Shift D. Some in there. Let's put some on this side as well. Shift D, Shift D. All right. Where else can we put them? Let's put one here. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And plop one up there. Roughly in the middle. Looks nice. So that's not too bad. I reckon we should put one maybe maybe along here as well. So it kind of lines up with these ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the engine. Tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select this face because I want the center of the circle. Shift S cursor to selected. Okay, now let's get a rivet. Let's get a rivet. I'm going to turn off auto snapping now. I'm going to do shift D to duplicate. Alt R to reset the rotation. Alt G to reset the location. Now let's just find a good spot to put it. G. So what I'm going to do now 
is I'm actually going to go into edit mode. So press tab to go into edit mode. Ah, oh, that needs to go down a little bit more. There we go. And let's do. So now we've got this um, cursor at the center point and we're going to rotate it around the engine. I'm going to select the 3D cursor. I'm going to rotate by 10 minus. Mm. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? I know. Let's just do rotate 10. And that's not sitting. Hmm. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just extend this bit a little bit down. G, Z. And then rotate 10. Yeah, that'll do. Shift D, R, 10. Shift D, R, 10. Oh, that's not looking right, is it? I think that'll be suffice. Shift D, R, 10. Shift D, R, 10. Oh, I could have probably used a modifier for this, but this is me just being lazy. Even though using a modifier would be better, but... Okay, so we've got that one. I'm going to do shifty rotate 180 as well to plop that on top. And the reason for that is, is I'm going to delete these two faces because it's going to be very rare that we're actually going to look down into it. And I will select these vertices, delete vertices. So when I now go into mirror modifier, We've got it around the side. So we've got this cool effect now. So let's select everything. And I'm just going to move it over so it's kind of in line. Let's get it removed from these two plates. So I'm going to select these two. Control L, delete vertices. And what we'll do is let's duplicate this as well. And let's line it up. Probably with the let's line up with these ones. Shift D Y. There we go. Probably about there. Control L delete vertices. And we can delete all these ones as well because we're not going to see these. Delete vertices. So that I deleted too many. Control Z, Control Z. Control Z, Control Z. Which ones did I delete? I know what happened. It's because I didn't grab everything. Oh, and I missed. Ah, that's why. Because I already deleted. So, Shifty rotate 10. Shifty rotate 10. Okay. Shifty Y. Let's line these two up. And now these two points we can get rid of. These two points we can get rid of. And let's get rid of these ones. So as you can see, we've removed a whole bunch of, oops, let's get rid of these ones as well. Control L, deleted vertices. So without doing much, we've already added quite a bit of detail. So if I go now, I do want to make these shiny material. What metal do we have? Metal. Or maybe we can go carbon because then they'll stick out a little bit more. So now if I go into render view. It just adds a little bit extra to that engine. All right. So let's just finish off this bit here. So I'm going to select all the rivets. Except for that one. Let's go all these rivets. Control J, because we've joined all those mesh meshes now together. 
and I believe if I can, if I join these two now, because this is the one that has the modifier, um, this will get whatever modifiers these are. Uh, Control J. Ah, yeah, because they're there. Sorry, I was trying to work out why these all aren't selected, but that's because we've got a mirror modifier. And so now we've got all these little rivets all about the shop. Cool.